Whenever you are ready to announce something important to your audience, such as uh, promote an upcoming event that you're doing or uh, let people know once every couple months that you are taking new clients or uh, you're you know, launching a book or um, doing a webinar or whatever it is that you're announcing, do you have a checklist that you go from in terms of making sure that you have announced it in the places that you can? If not, may I encourage you to start a checklist for your very next thing. And in the notes of this video, I will include my current checklist of what I do. But let me just give you a couple of basics. So first of all, uh, it's a good idea for you to email your email list subscribers. And you may have different segments of your email list. For example, do you have a certain segment of people that are particularly keen on hearing about your upcoming event? Maybe they were past attendees. Uh, maybe they were past clients, right? So you may have, in terms of your email list, subscriber list, you may have different segments. Uh, your social media. What social media platforms do you use regularly? Or, or not regularly, but you have a profile on there. You may want to post it on there and post it more than once as well. Not in a row, but for example, if you have an event coming up in two weeks, you can post it today and then post about it again in five days and then again in 10 days so that you post it you know, three times before, before two weeks is, is, is up, right? So think about your, you know, the different social platforms like Facebook or LinkedIn or uh, Instagram or whatever you, you enjoy using. Um, also, consider uh, contacting specific people that you think would be a great fit for that thing that you're announcing. So if it's for an event, then maybe you want to specifically invite certain uh, colleagues, friends, clients that you think, gosh, this event would really serve them. And people really appreciate being invited personally to something instead of just seeing a mass email or just seeing it on, on social media. So try to invite them with at least... Uh, you know, of course, you might use a similar email that you, you use for, for different people that you, for various people you invite. But in that email to a particular person, try to at least put a sentence or a paragraph where you can customize it to that person's interests and needs. Uh, so, oh, and also you may have colleagues or clients who have a network of people who would be perfect for that event or that thing that you're announcing and you you know you know you always want to be courteous you don't ask for the you know you don't make this request too often but once in a while it is good to reach out to certain colleagues or clients to say hey you know what there's an event coming up and i i thought about you know you may have an audience you may have a network that would really appreciate knowing about this if that's true feel free to share it with them here's the link or here's a couple paragraphs you may wish to use um, you know and just be courteous and and be modest just say hey thank you regardless just want to thank you for for your 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 support always and uh, so anyway have a checklist that's the main point I want to share with you start a checklist maybe you use a Google Doc uh, that's always on your you know that you can always you know, bookmark and go back to and you can always add to uh, next time you come up with other ideas because your checklist may be quite different from mine. Uh, your checklist may be longer or shorter than mine. I think I probably at this point I'm so used to doing marketing that a lot of things that I do without even needing a checklist or without even having it on my notes I probably do it automatically. So please do use a checklist. Be as detailed as you need to be in order to feel calm about, okay, I know exactly what I need to do to announce something important. So I hope this is helpful and uh, look at the notes of this video for some ideas from me about what you might want to include in your, in your checklist. Until the next video, I'm George Cow. I'm always open to your questions and your comments and I wish you an organized and calm and effective marketing strategy. Be well.